Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and I am a full-time psychic. I do personal readings, and if you would like one, you can find the information in the description box below. Scorpio, you transform. Scorpio rules the eighth house of endings, beginnings, other people's money, bank loans, investments, life and death, surgery, and the sex organs. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you are an important part of the zodiac Scorpio. Pluto is all about transformation and your ruling planet has been in Capricorn. Uh, so many of you may be involved. Uh, you've been involved in a lot of change in career. A lot of very big changes in your life. So let's look and see what the overall energy is for love for our beautiful Scorpios. And that just put itself, placed itself right in my hand. The angel of balance. Okay, we love it. The Angel of Balance is right there for our beautiful Scorpio friends. So, whoop, there, there we go again. Okay, Goddess of the Moon. Scorpio, are you dating a Pisces or a Cancer? You are tapped in to your dreams, to your intuition. Very powerful energy right now. Okay, so what is going to happen with Scorpio? the temple path. So many of you are transforming the way you see spirit, the way you see the universe. You're taking on a very philosophical, very spiritual view of your life at this time, and it will help you transform and reach your goals. All right, so let's look and see what's going on in the love lives of Scorpio. Scorpio Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus Spirit. Give us messages, beautiful messages for a beautiful love reading for our Scorpio friends, one that fills them with enlightenment, love, happiness, but brings them to a place in which they can transform their love life into their hopes and dreams. Okay, so let's see for Scorpio. What is the energy for Scorpio in love? Scorpio in love. Okay, ba balance. Libra energy. Okay, the justice card means that for some of you, it can be the paperwork. The justice card often indicates legal paperwork. So when I see justice, yes, you want balance emotionally. You want to do the right thing. You want the right thing to happen for you in your relationships because the other person is operating from integrity. It also tells me that some of you could be planning a marriage because it can be a marriage license. It can be buying a home. It can be any paperwork that is about buying, renting, buying a car, anything that's going on like that right now in your life. For some of you though, it is a divorce, the paperwork of divorce or the thought process of divorce. The reason I'm saying that is that we have the four of swords. Right now, you're in this pe this period of time in which you feel as though you have to heal your heart. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what else we have here for Scorpio. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay. So we have for Scorpio, the hanged man. You are looking at things from another perspective, Scorpio. You demand and require a lot of passionate involvement with your lover. You want a lot of intensity that is very scorpionic. You want someone who's highly invested, somebody who wants to take the time to get to know you. This is all about stability. This is all about, you know, really getting to know someone very well so you know what they enjoy, what they like. It creates an abundant relationship. You want someone with whom you can enjoy an equal relationship, equal give and take, that you're not always the person who's out there trying to, you know, do all the work, you know, bring all the money to the table to pay for all the vacations. You really want someone who is your equal, someone who is emotionally as giving as you are, Scorpio. Right now, you're very much looking at a situation in love. You're very grounded now. This heartbreak that happened looks as though for most of you, you've healed from it beautifully but it really is sort of still in your energy field because you are looking, 
you know, you're using your faith. That's a beautiful Sagittarius energy right now. You are healing your heart. The angels are protecting you. Intuitively, there's something that's going on in your life in regard to relationships. So I'm sure it's going to unfold now. The Two of Swords says that you've had relationships in which you did not feel heard. You have had partners in your life who, no matter what you did, no matter how talented you are, no matter what beautiful win, your, your partners have tended to sort of pick at you or not really recognize. See how she's blindfolded? Your partners didn't recognize your value. I feel as though you've had partners that were nitpicky or naggy, um, partners who just did not see what you were about. They were too busy creating drama, creating headaches that I don't think that for many of you who are watching, I don't think you've had what you consider an ideal partnership in your life. I feel as though it's something that you very much see. You're, you're calm, cool, and collected. You're being very strategic, Scorpio, about finding new love for those of you who are searching, and I feel most of you are. Okay. You want someone who's going to rush in and speak to you. You need someone who communicates really well. You want someone who knows what to say, what to do, when to take action. You want a lover who will take the lead, who will be a part, a very active part uh, of the relationship. You don't want to be the boss. You want them to pursue you. You want them to race in. You want them to come after you with a lot of energy. You are taking a very cautious view of love at this time. The Seven of Wands energy speaks very much to the fact that you're, you're holding your standards, you're holding yourself in high regard, you're making sure that nobody violates your boundaries, nobody takes advantage. You want what you want and you're not going to settle for anything less, which is this beautiful transformation that you've been going through for a period of time, I feel. In the past, you've had lovers who were very much lightweights in love. You know, when you get a page energy and you're, you know, when we're adults, obviously, those watching are in queen or king energy with the king of swords, you've had to deal with people who were lightweights people who were immature, people who didn't love you in the way that you deserve to be loved and you need to be loved. And you get this feeling, your biggest fear right now is that you won't find love and it's only when pigs fly. You know, see a little pig here, if you can see this, a pig and a bowl with wings. So that is your biggest fear right now, Scorpio. So let's see what we have coming up for you. You're at a crossroads. You may be making a decision about a career. You may be making a decision about moving, retirement, but you're going, you're on the verge of changing your life and you're really allowing spirit to guide you. You're following your intuition and the angels are certainly protecting you. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So we have the three of coins. Beautiful. Oh, Scorpio, look at this. I feel as though in the last six months, many of you have started a new relationship. This looks like a very old wound. This could be a relationship that's up to four years old. The place that you're in, the journey that you're on originates from several years back. Look at this energy. You are with somebody who is in it to win it with you. We have the three of coins. Let's go to the paint store. Let's go to the farmer's market. Let's go to the gym. They're right there with you. The two of cups. It's a uh, soulmate of the minor arcana. I'm going to try to, oops, a daisy. <laughs> Trying to straighten that out a little bit. Okay. So we see this beautiful two of cups energy for you. The hermit card still says that there's not a big commitment yet. You're giving things, you're really searching for answers. That hermit card is very spiritual. You know, that's sort of like being on the temple path is how I'm seeing that. It is Virgo energy. It's like trying to make a plan for what is to come. So let's see what else we have here before we clarify. We will clarify all the cards for you. 
I feel as though you've been dating, but here we go. Scorpio, there you are in your reading. I get, you know, what's coming in here is that you are going to put the past behind, that all the old wounds of the past are healed. I feel very much. With the Two of Cups and the Hermit card, you, you've done a lot of soul searching. You know the answers. You know what has, you know, gone well in your life and what hasn't. So you're really at this point of, look at this, Ace of Wands. I knew it. A new beginning, you know, with the Two of Cups. You have someone, I feel again, I would say fairly recently, um, that you are going to move forward with. I see you still, many of you are still on this lone journey. Even those of you who are dating someone, I'm getting that you're still on this seeking inner peace in your relationship life. So let's look and clarify the cards. What is going on for Scorpio in love? Scorpio in love. Scorpio in love. Okay, let's see what we have. Why is a justice card here for Scorpio? Okay. Okay, for some of you, you were married in the past to somebody who was just not a good match. This person always looked like they were doing a little bit of one-upsmanship. They hurt you very deeply because when you had success in your life, when there was something to celebrate, they didn't celebrate you. They withheld happiness. They withheld any good sense from you. They hurt you by withholding their support from you. The hanged man says to me that why would someone do that, right? Like that would be you thinking to yourself, why would a spouse, you know, want to hurt me? Why wouldn't they recognize who I am? Why wouldn't they allow me to have some sort of good feeling about our relationship or my success as an individual. The, yeah, Hierophant card, this was a, for most of you, an old marriage lurks in the back of your mind or an old relationship that was long-term. What other effect has this had? Five of Wands. This person caused a lot of conflict. It was very ego-driven. They always felt that in some ways you were more successful and they felt competitive with you. So you didn't get the support that you needed. You just didn't. The Eight of Wands is all about your passionate, exuberant experience in life. Look at this, Two of Cups, Two of Cups. So this is showing me that right now, Scorpio, you are getting to know you have a new passionate relationship for many of you, or you're about to somebody that you're getting to know, somebody that has a power, you know, the powerful ability to give equally to you. And look at the Eight of Wands, passionate new beginning. Uh, you know, it's a card that says, well, I want to marry my best friend. The Two of Cups is here. So you've already moved into this relationship for most of you. The Knight of Cups is all about a romantic overture. When we look at the Eight of Pentacles card, this is very much in relationship, getting to know you, being very steady, being very reliable with each other, and just, you know, learning a lot about each other, really learning. And that's something that I see that it's important to you is really wanting to know what you're getting yourself into because you know in this situation you took a leap of faith into a relationship that was just squabbling for no good reason it looks as though it was just a relationship that was difficult and it didn't have to be other than the person that you married was you know they were they didn't they wanted to be the rock star of the relationship and that was not grounded. Okay, so when we look at the Eight of Coins, this is the apprentice has now graduated to the journeyman and is in their final stages of becoming a master. So what we see is that you're getting to know someone. You're 80% of the way there. It is a romantic interest with someone who's very lovely, who's very calm, who offers you a cup of love, who does romantic things with you. We're really seeing someone here for you, Scorpio, that is offering you a beautiful cup of love. You have not committed to this person yet. So let's see what else we have. Two cards, one flying, okay. Oh, beautiful. 
the Ace of Cups. Here we go. This cup goes front and center. The, the Ace of Cups has now gone to the Two of Cups twice. The Four of Coins says that both of you are being very conservative. You're not taking anything for granted. You're holding back a little bit. You know, this person's being very conservative. Four of Coins does mean that you have a very strong tie because you want to hold, you want to hold this person close to your chest. They want to hold you close to the, your, their chest. They don't want you dating anyone else and the same is true of you. You, it's sort of like the card of the miser. So when it comes to relationship, you don't want this person talking to other people, texting other people. You are looking for signs to see if they hold you in the same high regard that you, you need and you want. Okay, so in the past, we see the King of Swords. You did strategically leave someone behind. Scorpio, you are in your reading. You are now in your power. The person from the past was very upsetting to you. You know, look at the crows. Like they were a nag. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's a card of really being very naggy and leaving you always as if you couldn't win. You couldn't win an argument. Whatever you did was always wrong. But here you are. You have mastered that energy. The King of Cups energy. You are very calm emotionally. But look at this. How beautiful. By walking away from this relationship, you were able to take a step back, take a hot minute for yourself, analyze the situation and now you are back in your heart space you have returned to yourself sometimes when we leave relationships we have to find that person that got buried in a relationship that was toxic or unhealthy and we have to find ourselves again but you certainly have been on the temple path you are using your your intuition and you are enjoying the protection of the angels to keep balanced beautiful energy so this person, you want someone who's going to really pursue you, someone with whom you can you can really enjoy. And oh, <laughs> I can't even make this up, my God. Not that I would try, but look at this, the Knight of Swords twice. The chances of that happening are one in, let me see, 156. Just wild. 156. We have 78 tarot cards doubled. So to get those cards is a one in <laughs> 156 chance. Okay. So let's see. Tell us something, Spirit, about this, this Knight of Swords. Now that is Gemini energy. It's intellectual energy. It's about communication. And it's about truth telling. It's also about somebody who's a little bit maybe too blunt. <laughs> Runs with scissors is the card, but look at this. It makes you happy. Oh, look at you have your queen of pentacles, that nurturing energy here. So this person looks as though they're very blunt in telling you that they care about you, that they want a future with you. And look at this. We have king of swords again. So both of you are very, very bright people. You have some sort of technical knowledge. I would say for many of you, I, when I get knight of swords energy, I get I get like anesthesiologists, I get uh, computer uh, like like engineers, people who can't be overly emotional if they do their job well. So you have this tremendous intellectual capacity. You know, you would enjoy going, reading books and, and speaking, you know, really communicating at a very high level about what's going on in the world. You're both very grounded, the pentacles here, the ability to have equal give and take, and the ability to really be outspoken in the relationship. Feel as though you can stand up for yourself without harming the relationship. It's really gorgeous, you know? Sometimes people don't like conflict, but all relationships have conflict. And this really tells me that you can work through conflict. Conflict resolution is yours. Scorpio, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, by standing in your power, you've come into this healing 
of the beautiful star card being with somebody with whom you can be very honest, very straightforward. You can say things that are even uncomfortable and know that both of you will react in a very sound way. Aquarius energy, very enlightened. Aquarius energy. We now have Saturn and Aquarius that's teaching all of us to be very straightforward, very honest, and to stand in our power in an enlightened way because that's Aquarius energy. Uranus, using our inner genius to come up with the solutions. We all have it. Oh, <laughs> we all have it. Okay, so the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, for some of you, may be children who are grown, but when I look at this energy in the past, you've always sort of had relationships with people who were really not on your level, Scorpio. Yep, five of coins, you've left that person in the cold, you are over it, you know, it looks as though you took your power back, you started enjoying life without them, you started living very passionately and very honestly in terms of what you need and what you want, and you, you know, it's like that, that song in South Pacific, you wash that man woman right out of your hair. You got to watch that man right out of your hair is the lyrics to the song. All right. So obviously it can be, you know, there's no gender in tarot, even though sometimes I speak it that way. Uh, but let's see, what's the Two of Wands representing? Look at this. You are doing very well. You're very capable. You're, you look beautiful. You may be upgrading your wardrobe right now. You may be upgrading your home. You definitely are in a period of time when you're, you're putting money away. You know, you're able to invest, make some very good investments, Scorpio. The Two of Wands says, though, that you are looking to diversify investments. You're looking to grow your ability to earn money and be secure. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Six of Cups. Okay. There's a lover from, from the past. You know, when we see runs with scissors, that oftentimes is someone coming in. But, you know, I also see that the person who is in this Two of Cups energy, you may have been away from each other for a while. It looks like you're going to have a beautiful reunion. So take that how it resonates. You know, these are general readings. They're not precise to everybody or even one person. So there are different little storylines. You know, it's sort of like a plant. You have the plant and then the shoots of growth go off in different directions. So when we do general readings, there's oftentimes little side stories going on for each of you. Okay, so the Ten of Swords, you've put an end to a partner who really didn't give you their undivided attention. The Three of Pentacles is not a bad card necessarily, but it is a card of collaboration. And your person in the past did not collaborate with you. And that is something that you're bringing in. This Ten of Swords has turned sort of morphed into the truth of the matter is the Knight of Swords is you want somebody who invests. The, the Scorpio King invests, the Queen of Pentacles invests, and you're not going to handle any situation in which you don't have clarity. Why is the Two of Cups here? Oh, beautiful. The Cancer Queen, look at that energy. And that is the Goddess of the Moon energy also. The Moon is Cancerian energy and Pisces energy. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that for you, Scorpio. The Two of Cups energy, what else do we have here? Tell us about the Hermit card. We know about the Two of Cups you love very deeply. This looks like a love that can really go the distance. It'll be life transforming from what I can see. Ten of Cups, oh my gosh, I was right. Oh, I'm so happy for you. The Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. You no longer have to search for love. Your death and rebirth means that you left an old relationship. You have reborn again, you know, a, a, you're born again into a new beautiful love that is highly fulfilling. Is this just the most joyful card in the world? Ten of Cups is happily ever after. It's a card of joy. It's dreams coming true in terms of your family life, your love life. Scorpio, tell us something today about Scorpio. You went through many periods of your life in which you held on to love while other people juggled. 
you feel as though you were always true in your heart space to the people that you loved. You always protected the love even when they weren't looking. You tried your best to love deeply and you felt not only that you may have been juggled with other people, not necessarily, but as though these the people that you had relationships with in the past just didn't give you the same stability. They were just, you know, look at the cup is pouring out. They weren't very careful. They were reckless with your heart. And you are, you had a guardian angel with you that is protecting you that has brought this new love in with this two of cups energy and ace of cups energy. So the ace of wands is that passionate new beginning. I do feel that many of you would like to relocate or buy a new home, <clears throat> or move from where you're at. So let's just see what the Ace of Wands says. The Eight of Swords says you're not ready yet. It is self-imposed restriction. I'm getting Two of Swords. It's not time to make a decision yet. The Hanged Man yet again. There's something about children or family or plans for the future that requires you to stay where you're at and that is a strength card, that where you're at is really very good. But for those of you that are going to retire or change careers in the next, no later than six years, for some of you it will be as quickly as six months, you will move for a job. I love this. This is beautiful. Look at, look at that person so excited. They're chiseling the coins. They're making their way. But I see you, that's also the getting to know you card up here. Romantically, we have a repetition of that. So you're not going to make any decisions until you know what's going to happen in your love life. Because what you would really like, Scorpio, is to make a joint decision with somebody. And we see the Taurus King, your seventh house of marriage. The Taurus King doesn't have to be a Taurus. This just simply means a loving, stable relationship that is grounded. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You have this beautiful divine energy between you and another. You have healed Scorpio. You are on your way and you are divinely protected in this tremendous period of transformation in your life. You know, you've let something go. You've transformed. And you have this angel of balance on your side right now. Sending you love from Chicago, Scorpio. It's been a joy reading for you. Send some love back and tell me where you're from, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.